They break up families. They teach that if your wife doesn't get with the doctrine after a year, that you've got to divorce your wife. It's only one person with the microphone. Not even two people with a microphone. And yet, you won't answer a basic question. Well, he just said it's a lie. There's no special protection. You join IUIC. It's a place where people get played upon. And that's why you bypass a man to speak to a woman with a child. I've talked to woman after woman whose husband got an IUIC and then left them because of their doctrine. Because they live in fear of us. Every single day. But yet, here I am and you won't talk. They're claiming that they're coming into the community and building up families. They're not building up families. How is this masculine when you won't answer a question? You will only talk to women and children and you ignore a man standing before you. Come back to your law, statutes, and commandments, your heritage. Rest with us. Today is God's holy Sabbath day. It is the day of rest commanded by the Most High God. And one day, the whole earth is going to observe the Sabbath. Come on. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven. What is the whole world waiting for? Do you know the submission these men is on? Guess what? Guess what? Don't listen to the devil. Don't pay attention to the devil. The devil came to rob, steal, and kill. You think? Read what you got. Acts chapter 3. Read what you got. Read it again. Read it again. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. You literally plead the fifth when presented with a basic Bible question. You know in court that if you're innocent, you don't need to plead the fifth. Why do you men plead the fifth? They cannot answer Acts 17, 30, which says God commands all men everywhere to repent. You teach God commands only some men in some places to repent. Trans-Saharan slave trade. Transatlantic. It happens. Transatlantic. Trans slave it's a transatlantic. Trade, which happened before the transatlantic slave trade, That's which right. started. That's as close as I got to an answer. That's right. When they get poor, sis. That's right. Go back to Second Thessalonians. Come on. Now, will you Second deal with Acts 1730? Are you going to tell her your whole Come time on. out here? Second Thessalonians. How many of you are you? One, one two, two, three, because four, Because whether you believe it or not, six, black is free and Native American nine, 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 the Bible is only for you. 13, the Bible is your 15, book. and no one can answer this. Speaks of the salvation 17, of the Israelites. This is not keeping the Sabbath. Please, you do not keep the law. You do not keep the law. Not you do not keep the law. Now, not only now, that, taking but you vengeance men on them your heart, that just know like not God. What's that just like I do, you sit in your heart. You look on the he that says I know him, you covet, there's a bunch of people running around the earth today say they know God. The Lord can't but let's see if the Bible only will Jesus tell you Christ if they know God or not. You have Christ because the Bible on the name is the of your only school true book on the earth. And yet, you don't Romans speak chapter about three and verse one. Notice how many times you've heard Christ one. mentioned out here. What one time, it was when you mentioned, you mentioned this color. The only time you mentioned Christ is when you mentioned Christ. Everybody on this earth hates you. So notice right now, he's talking about we want to see supposedly Israelites be in captivity and not keep the law is what he's saying but this group behind you you know what they do they break up families they teach that if your wife doesn't get with the doctrine after a year that you've got to divorce your wife I've talked to woman after woman whose husband got an IUIC and then left them because of their doctrine my point by saying all that is 
they're claiming that they're coming into the community and building up families. They're not building up families. They're destroying families. They're ripping apart men and women. It's like they haven't read 1 Corinthians 7. I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians 7 right now to show you how that doctrine is not biblical. Come on. God commands Please. all people Verse everywhere to repent. Two, three. Look at this, John. This is the closest person that was to Christ. We command. And hereby, we a wife is not to leave her husband. We know him. She does we leave. She must God. remain it's unmarried to be reconciled to her husband. Yeah. Unless it's not to divorce his wife. But I, have the Lord, say the rest. No, if no, any of no, no, has no, an unbelieving wife, and she is willing to live with him, he must not divorce her. If any brother has an unbelieving wife and she's willing to live with him, he must not divorce her. The point by that is that they teach the opposite. So they're talking about they build up the community, and yet they command, if your wife doesn't get with it after a year, divorce her. His commandment. You break the Sabbath day. You don't have a beard on your face. You don't have fringes on your clothes. Read it again from the top. First John chapter 2. First John 11 says, but the one who hates his brother or sister is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he's going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Let me show you this real quick here. They're talking about you got to keep the commands. And they said what John says. Well, let's read some more of what John says. The one who hates his brother or sister is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he's going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The gospel is that Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures for our sins. How can you have it break, Luke brought that up 16. the whole time you've been out here? You ever brought up the gospel one time. Now I bet when you go here now, Please. you're going to get it wrong because Luke you preach a false gospel. Let's see. Bring it out. And he came to Nazareth. You acknowledge I'm here, obviously. Bring it out. But, but yeah, you won't speak to me at all. Pass. If Thou will not if there was a good reason you had to not speak to the Lord thy God, there was other people around, I'd understand that. But earlier, there was nobody around. It was just me, and, and they just talking into that atmosphere. No one getting around except for your group. So I waited my turn, curses. and yet, come upon thee, still wouldn't speak. Overtake thee. You guys so realize says, it's because you you're in really a religious group that on, smashes down your right. individual choices. You see this sign? Now, I believe in structure and authority. The Bible teaches plurality of elders and deacons. That's true. Right. But the minute level of detail and control, that's not biblical. If you go back and read the Bible, it never says you have to wear a certain pants, a certain shirt, and a certain style of boot. That's not in the scripture. Now, it's fine if you want to do it, but if you don't abide by that teaching, they'll pull you out of this group. Why is that? Is that a punishable offense if you don't wear a certain uniform or outfit? You get kicked out? That's not scriptural. Now, if you want to do it again, that's fine. But just understand, that is designed have you to mentally keep you medicine? in a uniform state of mind that's Who's not a biblical state of mind. Of Israel, right? It's great to be in now, one mind like Paul says in Philippians 2. But if you're in a uniform the state of mind that's just reflecting the thoughts of your leader, Nathaniel or Yahweh Sub, you're not following after Christ. You're following after men. I will bring us into Egypt again. How can you go into Egypt again if you've never been there in the first place? Give me... Exodus chapter you teach 20. Egypt is America. Come on. How can you go Exodus to Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. Can you go back to a place you've never been to? If Egypt is not actual Egypt, but it's America, then how can you go back to Egypt? So that doesn't make any sense, does it? Does it make any sense to go back to a place you've never been to? Now the Bible says Egypt. It doesn't say the Western Hemisphere. It doesn't say America. It doesn't say Jamaica. It says E-G-Y-P-T, which is Mizraim. That's what it says, right? Egypt is Egypt. How do we know? Because the other two times, Egypt is mentioned in Deuteronomy 28. It's literal physical Egypt. Yes, actual Egypt. Would you like me to show you the places where Egypt means literally Egypt? They're not crying unto the real God. they crying unto the God of Christianity. they crying unto the false God that was given to us during slavery. During the Renaissance era. That's false again. Christianity was in Africa long before the Renaissance era. Have you ever said it to his Ethiopian eunuch, have you not read of Apollos of Alexandria? Have you not read about the early church fathers who were African men, such as Tertullian, 
such as Clement of Alexandria, such as Athanasius? Have you not read this? Why are you teaching the false servants? Christianity was an African. Long before the slave trade, long before the Renaissance, long before any of that. This man don't know history. This man doesn't know what he's talking about. This man is in your false narrative. And how do you know? Because he won't let me fifteen and seventy-five bullets in one man. You know who Origin is? But this we're not God's chosen people. We're not the greatest on the face and of this earth. Christianity wasn't in Africa until the Renaissance, cop, the medieval era. A That's a lie. Boy, That's a lie. Slam him on his head. Do you want to know why? Because they live in fear of us. Right. Every single day. But they yet here I am and you won't boots. talk. Brothers, may I ask you a question? Why would you not answer a question? Why are you instructed and commanded to not answer a question? It's a simple question. Acts 17, 30. Notice, I come down here, you leave and go the other way. And yet he's saying that we are afraid of IUIC. IUIC seems like they're afraid of us. It's only one person with a microphone. Not even two people with a microphone. And yet you won't answer a basic question. How is this masculine? when you won't answer a question. You will only talk to women and children and you ignore a man standing before you. How is that masculine? You'll talk to folks who don't know the scriptures, but you won't speak with me. Why? Where's the fear? What kind of man bypasses a man and says, I'm just gonna talk to women and children only? And you think that's a masculine thing? I'm gonna just talk to women and children who don't know the scriptures, don't have a Bible on them, don't know about your heinous doctrine. It's because you are fearful. You're fearful of the truth, my friend. If you were not fearful, you wouldn't turn up the speaker to try to cheat by technology to defeat us. If you were really not afraid, God you would put down the mic, and I could put this then. down, and we could have a normal conversation. I don't even have this on right now. Why are you operating you in fear? The, the Bible says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. It's not power to avoid one man's question when you got 25 dudes out here on the street. That's not power. It's not sound mind when you can't even answer a basic question. That shows a weak mind. It's not love when you teach that only certain people can be saved. You do not have the spirit of the Most High. Because the scripture says, God has given us the spirit, not of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Do you think this represents power? Does this represent love? Does this represent sound mind? Most certainly it does not. It most certainly does not. And you know it. You know it. Now look. I'm sorry if y'all got burnt at bad churches. We know there's bad churches. We know this. But bad church doesn't equal what you're in now being a good church, does it? It doesn't equal that. The question is, if you have the truth, why can't you obey 1 Peter 3.15? It says that any time, give a defense to anyone who asks you for reason for the hope that is inside you. Why can't you obey 1 Peter 3.15, my friend? Why can't you obey it? Why not? You guys say you can take anyone on in the scriptures? Why won't you answer my basic questions? Why not? It's because you're in a cult, man. They're trying to control your mind, bro. They're trying to control your mind. They're trying to control the very words you speak. Sits down. What's precious in my sight? That's not even our book. They can easily touch you. And God won't protect you because you're not keeping his commandments. Is that what happened to Joy Morgan? I mean, if you're going to go there... God, if you're going to go there, you, I was going to bring it up. He's talking about people touching you, but yeah, what happened to Joy Morgan? I was going to bring it up, but hear what he just said? Well, hear what he just said? I didn't bring it up until you said that. Until you said that, I didn't bring it up. There's a lot of predators in IUIC, sis. You better watch out. You might go on a and never come back. Well, he just said it's a lie. There's no special protection if you join IUIC. It's a place where people get played upon. And that's why you bypass a man to speak to a woman with a child. we get over here, sis? A man would speak to a man. He wouldn't bypass a challenge. You men are afraid of a challenge. 
I'm not talking about a physical challenge. I've been doing all that. I'm talking about a spiritual challenge. All I've been doing the whole time is the scripture. Is the Bible. That's all I've been quoting. And not all of you are answering. And if you really want to know what the Bible says, you would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. You would like to be Israelite and escape from Goliath. The church has been at the forefront of all of the services. The church produced Martin Luther King. The church produced Adam Clayton Powell. The church produced the leaders who brought the truth forward. Like Frederick Douglass, Israelite, so-called, and brought no civil rights leader forward. Y'all know I have nothing to show. And yet you want to bang on the church?